I'm the first to admit that when the initial lockdown was announced, I was keen to get into it and get it over with, naively telling myself that 21 days of isolation would be a nice to have, to give myself a chance to slow down and regroup. I'd filled my weekdays with work and my weekends with endless plans. I tired myself out. Now, a hundred plus days later, things look a lot different. What I now find inspiring is how we're all reaching for each other, showing our support, asking for it when we need each other, giving it when asked, sharing what we're learning, asking for guidance where we're lacking. In my personal life, I've really tried, sometimes effectively, sometimes not, to be vulnerable, showing my friends where I'm battling and showing up for them. I've never done that professionally. But COVID-19 has almost been a leveling of ego, even for those of us who don't operate in that area. We're all in the same boat, even if we're wearing differently. I've found that being completely honest is the most humbling and most helpful approach, for the most part. The AIGS team has, from day one, embraced this completely. Their approach of making a difference has almost never been more apparent. Before lockdown, the management team decided to send everyone home, because at the end of the day, their team was more important than anything else. In these last few months, they continue to not only operate, but thrive as well as possible as a team, making use of the technology that is available in order to keep everyone as connected as possible, listening to each other, supporting more at times, motivating at others, because the truth is, no one really knows how to navigate these times. For most of us, it's our first time living through a global pandemic. It really does make a difference to show up for ourselves and each other, and I'm proud to be part of the AIGS team who puts their words into actions. Stay warm, stay safe, and I hope to see this team in person very soon.